I figured that would never happen without the uh, preparation we had training the team inside so life. Little known fact, for years upon return to Earth, astronauts would have issues with fainting, kind of like the moment you just witnessed when a North Texas cardiologist began looking at why he discovered a treatment for people here on Earth suffering from so-called gravity disease. Russ McCaskey today with a closer look. I was experiencing symptoms when I was about to graduate nursing school back in 2011. Julie Kristoff says she had to put her life on hold because every time she moved, she felt dizzy and fainted. It got so bad, um, I couldn't really walk very far. It uh, took everything out of me to get up off the couch and walk to the bathroom. Julie was eventually diagnosed with POTS, or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. The illness affects blood circulation, especially when a person stands up after sitting or lying down. When you stand up, gravity sucks blood into your feet. Dr. Ben Levine, a cardiologist at UT Southwestern Medical Center, studies the impact of gravity on astronauts when they return to Earth. His findings are published in the journal Circulation. Turns out what affects astronauts also affects thousands of people on Earth, especially those on lengthy bed rest or with certain medical disorders or, in Julie's case, an infection. If you just go into space or put someone to bed, which is our model for space flight here on Earth, the heart shrinks. You lose about 1% of the heart muscle mass every week. Two weeks in bed, 2%. It's a steady reduction in the muscle mass of the heart. Total blood and plasma volume shrinks to accommodate that. Dr. Levine and his team developed a training program for astronauts that has significantly reduced fainting episodes. The program has also helped people like Julie. Dr. Levine put Julie on a regimen of exercise and a high salt diet similar to the one that astronauts will be put on in space. So far, it's worked for both. I think it's incredible that with the research that Dr. Levine's doing at the Institute that they're able to help both astronauts and just, you know, a regular person like myself that's just trying to be a nurse. Russ McCaskey, CBS 11 News. And doctors say this POTS, as they call it, is very common among young people, so you know. In fact, approximately 500,000 people in the United States suffer from that condition right now.